Merry Christmas, our Creator God. Merry Christmas, Holy Spirit. Merry Christmas, Jesus, Emmanuel, God with us. On this day, we celebrate your birth to Mary and to the whole world. Nothing would ever be the same again. Amen. people of God, the light has come into the world. O oh God, now we light the candle of your nativity. With the company of heaven and with sounds of great joy, you come to us. This is the time of light and resplendent joy. The prophet Isaiah proclaimed a time when those who walked in the shadows would see a great light. A light would shine and a child would be born to us. The evangelist Luke painted the nativity sky and repeated the heavenly song of the angels, glory, peace on earth, and goodwill. John declared that this great light is Christ, the word made flesh. This great light now lives among us. By it we behold God's glory, full of grace and truth. At Christ's nativity we now rejoice. God, our life and light, thank you for coming this night to us. Thanks for touching all heaven and earth with your splendor. In every corner of the world, shine this night with your peace. In every corner of our hearts, shine this night with your grace. Amen. In the bleak midwinter, frosty wind made moan. Earth stood hard as iron, water like a stone. Snow had fallen, snow on snow, snow on snow. 
in the bleak midwinter long ago. Our God, heaven cannot hold him, nor earth sustain. Heaven and earth shall flee away when he comes to reign. In the bleak midwinter, a stable place sufficed the Lord God Almighty, Jesus Christ. Enough for him who cherubim worship night and day, breast full of milk and a manger full of hay. Enough for him whom angels fall before, the ox and ass and camel which adore. Angels and archangels may have gathered there. Cherubim and seraphim thronged the air. But his mother only in her maiden bliss worshipped the beloved with a kiss. shepherd, I would bring a lamb. If I were a wise man, I would do my part. Yet what I can, I give him. Give my heart. Hear now our prayer of confession. Ever-loving God, on regular days we forget about the birth of Jesus. We forget to love you, to love our neighbors, and to love ourselves. We forget we have hope, peace, and joy in Jesus. We forget you are with us as close as our very breath. Thank you for reminding us. Thank you for calling us together to celebrate, and thank you for being with us yesterday, today, and forever. Amen. Friends, even when we forget, God remembers. Even when we get lost or wander off, God calls us back to safety. Because of God's great love for us, there is always forgiveness and restoration to be found. Amen. Lo, how a rose blooming from tender stems has sprung of Jesse's lineage coming as seas of old have sung. It came a blossom bright amid the cold of winter when half spent was the night Isaiah twice foretold it the rose I had in mind with Mary we behold it the show God's love aright. She bore to us a Savior when half spent was the night. Let us pray. Emmanuel, Christ with us, we thank you for being the living word of God. And we pray that we hear your word loudly this morning. 
We pray this in your name. Amen. Our first scripture reading is Luke 2, verses 1 through 7. In those days, Caesar Augustus issued a decree that a census should be taken of the entire Roman world. This was the first census that took place while Quirinius was governor of Syria. And everyone went to their own town to register. So Joseph also went up from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to Bethlehem, the town of David, because he belonged to the house and line of David. He went there to register with Mary, who was pledged to be married to him and was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for the baby to be born, and she gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in cloth and placed him in a manger because there was no guest room available to them.
Luke 2, 13 through 14. Suddenly, a great company of the heavenly host appeared with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace to those on whom he favors. Friends, this is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Hear now our Christmas affirmation of faith. We believe in God, the creator and giver of life, who brought all creation to birth, who mothers us and fathers us, protecting, nurturing, and cherishing us. We believe in Jesus Christ, 
God born among us as a fragile baby, embodying both love and the need for love, and calling us to rest in God as trustingly as a tiny child. We believe in the Holy Spirit breathed into us at our birth, always drawing us on to be born again, encouraging, exhorting, comforting, nourishing our growth and inspiring our living. We believe in the reconciliation of the world to God through Christ. Hunted at birth and humiliated at death, Christ entered our fearful darkness so that we might enter his glorious light and share the life of his resurrection. And we believe that each new child is a glimpse of the face of God, a sign of the life to come, a call to live in peace and celebrate living together. Glory to God in the highest and peace to God's people on earth. Amen. And friends, now receive the benediction. May today be a joyous Christmas. And may you live as a Christmas people each and every day, confident that God has come into the world 
to redeem and reconcile the world and to redeem and reconcile you. Amen.